Tired? This is the Advanced Family Chiropractic Radio Show. For the next 15 minutes, you'll learn more about the benefits of chiropractic care and how you can have an all-natural approach to your health. Be a part of today's program by calling 682-4674. And now, the Advanced Family Chiropractic Radio Show here on 1240 Radio, WOMT. Good morning to you all and Dr. Josh Heimer. Hello. Good morning. Here and in the house and I'm ready here. to go. I'm ready to go. I First of all, I got to know... How you rate getting one of those sweatshirts? Do you like that? Yeah, yeah. I, I got to get me one of those Bartow Builder sweatshirts. Yeah, you have to talk I'm to him. I'm gonna have to you say, know, hey, he's... hey, hey, what's going on here? He was nice enough. So he gave <coughs> Damon and I each one. Did he? Yeah. Oh. So I nice. guess I just need to be nicer to him. Well, I try to I try to wear it when he's going. To <laughs> I was gonna on. say I saw that. And I'm like, ah, yeah. oh, he's yeah. sucking up. He's in yeah. today for his radio I am, show. You know. But... I, I maybe another color would be nice too. You know? <laughs> uh, no, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, on and onward and upward. <laughs> Interesting topic today. Yes. Something many people uh, my age probably mm-hmm. and younger as well. Chronic hip and knee pain. Yeah, we're going to talk about some of the most common causes of chronic hip and knee pain, uh, and uh, give a good case review of a, a current case. Always like to kind of relate some of the things that I'm seeing in the clinic, you mm-hmm. know, uh, currently, and uh, talk about a, a current chronic case and some of the things that uh, we do for our patients to help uh, reduce or eliminate chronic mm-hmm. hip and knee pain. Well, how, I guess, first of all, <laughs> what, what causes it? Mm, well, where do we start? Um, let's start with a hip. Um, okay. Obviously, osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis or degenerative changes to the hip will cause hip pain. Um soft tissue changes, biomechanical changes to the joint. So we look at um, tendonitis of the hip, uh, tendons, uh, inflammation to the tendons, uh, inflammation to the muscles surrounding the hip joint, or just an abnormality of the whole kinetic chain starting from the foot, the knee, into the hip. So you could have, uh, for instance, a a reduction in the arch of your foot or a reduced uh, Mm -hmm. flat foot. That will actually cause knee pain and hip pain as well. You can have uh, pelvic unleveling or uneven hips. Um, So the best thing to do, obviously, for the hip issue, the first and foremost thing is is, uh, checking range of motion, doing some orthopedic neurological testing, and then, of course, taking an Mm X-ray to see if there's degenerative changes that we need to uh, address. Kind of the same thing with the knee. Is there a problem with the foot or the ankle that's causing biomechanical stress on the knee? Is there osteoarthritis to the knee? Uh, or is it uh, a soft tissue, a muscle, tendon, or a ligament uh, derangement that we need to be concerned or treating? So, I've, I mean, it's just a thousand different things right. can cause that. And that's, that's where a good doctor comes in. You mm-hmm. need a, a doctor who is well-versed in the... This, the structures of the joint, uh, the various causes of, of the derangement. And uh, uh, first and foremost, as I always say, you know, an accurate diagnosis is really the key to uh, getting a patient on the road to recovery. Because if um, you're treating the wrong thing, which we're going to kind of talk about in the case study that, mm-hmm. uh, or the case, the present case that we have, if <clears throat> the doctor or doctors uh, that you're seeing, whatever they may be, uh, medical doctors, chiropractors, osteopaths, uh, PTs. Um, if if you're not treating the right uh, cause of the problem, mm-hmm. you're probably leading down the wrong path, and you're going to get uh, not as good results. Yeah. Be- before you get into uh, the case you're going to talk about, I was just wondering: Do people, when they come in, they must be a bit surprised when you tell them that that they're uh, that their chronic hip and, and knee pain could come from something like a fallen arch. Right. You know, I bet they're surprised yeah, about that. Yeah, it, it is. And again, that is, that's, I, you know, unfortunately when I see, you know, chronic pain obviously is pain for you know, months or years, mm-hmm. right? So patients have been dealing with this and some patients come in with chronic hip or knee pain that say, you know, I've, I've never been to a doctor. I've just putting up, putting up with the pain. Or, you know, I've seen 10 doctors. You know, I've seen Dr. Best, Dr. Grace, Greatest, and Dr. Excellent at XYZ Clinic. Nobody can figure out what my pain is. And I, I love those because mm-hmm. those, are, those are my favorite. And was, yes, we're, you know, we're going to do our best to figure this out. And nine times out of 10, you know, we do. Um, 
but it, it comes down to again making the accurate diagnosis and, and evaluating that structure and my point here is that yes a, a lot of times when patients go in to see a doctor for let's just say a knee pain and there is a knee evaluation performed there either is a maybe a misdiagnosis or due to uh, the structure Read of the out. knee or or they're just looking at the knee they're not looking at the adjoining joint structures or the mm -hmm. adjoining soft tissue that could be either contributing to the knee pain and that's why it's chronic or causing the knee pain and the knee pain isn't the knee or the hip pain isn't the primary source of the pain it's from a different or adjoining structure and that's why i think where we come in and, and are so effective with with treating a lot of patients who haven't got good relief for one reason or another because we're just not honing in on that specific joint we're looking at the whole kinetic chain the whole biomechanical mm -hmm. chain that affects that joint and that I think where we come and get and really get chronic patients better results right now you you've been <clears throat> working on a uh, with a patient on on a certain type of pain that they have yeah right? so um, a, a, a current um, patient that has had uh, a chronic knee pain for years middle-aged male um, has had surgery uh, prior uh, to his, uh, on his knee, right knee, um, has had physical therapy and has has been even treated with us for for a number mm -hmm. of years for the chronic knee pain. Now, <clears throat> when the patient first had come to us, like I said, had had surgery, had had rehab, and so forth, and we looked at adjoining structures. Well, one of the things that we found again was the patient had flat feet. Well, when you have a pronated arch where that arch is dropped down, that also drops or bows in the knee so we get varus and valgus stress or that knee tips in you know mm -hmm. the, the bowed knees okay i guess right. is the good best way in layman's say uh way to put it so you've got a reduction in that arch which affects the knee so we first um fit that patient for custom uh, prosthetic orthotics so uh we did a computerized scan of, a, of the foot saw the therapist, diagnosed the patient with the flat feet, was able to help correct that uh, uh, pronation of the foot, which took a tremendous amount of pressure off of the knee. So in that way, we were, we were able to reduce the chronic knee pain by, say, 50% allowing that patient to be able to still work, do you know, activities of daily mm -hmm. living, and some hobbies. But still, for months, that patient still had some, you know, intermittent knee pain that we were dealing with. Although we had reduced their chronic knee pain by, say, up to 50% with all the other things that they had done, including surgery, there was still some residual pain. Well, now comes in dry needling. All right. Mm -hmm. So we talked about dry needling and how amazing that effects are on the soft tissues that not only affect you know the regions of the body but also can affect the joints. Mm -hmm. In particular, this patient was like, "Hey, you know, I I would like you to uh, maybe do a couple of dry needling uh, uh, treatments to see if we can you know kick this mm -hmm. chronic knee pain." completely you know fix this completely so absolutely let's do it so we did we did the uh the first uh dry needling uh treatment on the patient and we're really we're able to reduce now reduce with only one treatment we're able to reduce that n chronic knee pain that had been around for years to 75 percent in one treatment so then after that the second week the patient came back uh, we then looked at the adjoining structure. So you've got soft tissue musculature that runs from the hip that anchors all the way down into the knee. So then we started going up the leg into the IT band, which is notorious for trigger points, mm -hmm. tight muscles. Mm -hmm. And again, where do those, where does that muscle and that tendon anchor in? Well, it anchors into the knee joint. So if you've got a chronic tight IT band or any type of musculature that anchors into the knee, it's a chronic, chronic point of stress or cause of stress because it's pulling mm -hmm. on where it inserts into the knee joint, again, causing that chronic knee pain. So now by, by able to address the trigger points in the IT band and the hip flexors in the leg, 
we are now able to reduce after only two or three treatments with, with dry needling of that chronic knee pain. We're able to get that patient to 90 to 95% reduction in their uh, in oh. their knee pain isn't that something and, yeah it's, it's amazing yeah, it, we're taking two to three visits yeah. we're so, a patient who had chronic knee pain for years just by looking at the soft tissue that is you know that originates mm -hmm. uh a, a, a feet away from where the problem is so again looking at not only the pain in the joint itself, but looking at the adjoining structures, the, the, the joint dysfunction that may be coming from the joint next to it, proximal or distal, or looking at the soft tissue, uh, the muscles, the tendons, and the ligaments that might be causing the pain uh, connecting into the joint. Wow, that's really something. We have, we have a call. Do you mind taking one? That would be wonderful. All right. Good morning. You're on the air with Dr. Josh. Both menisci for quite a few years. I was using chondroitin, glucosamine, MSM until I started using the custom weighted orthotics for my arches. Mm -hmm. I haven't had much relief, but now I have less knee trouble and less back trouble with the orthotics plus those supplements. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're looking at um, taking all that pressure off the the not only the the the, the ankle or the foot and the ankle and the knee. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you get true custom orthotics, uh, pelvic stabilizers will help, you know, like we talked about in, in shows uh, in the past. When you look at the foundation of the skeletal frame, it starts with the foot. So if you have the foundation uh, of, of your body is off, it's just like the foundation of a, uh, of a home or a building. If the foundation of a home or a building is off, everything above it is going to be affected. It's mm -hmm. the same thing with the skeletal frame. So it's very important. I mean, we see even patients um, with chronic shoulder pain um, who've been through, you know, this and that treatment and, um, you know, orthotics significantly reducing um, some joint pain even up into the neck and shoulders just by helping stabilize uh, the, the, the foundation of the body. Mm -hmm. the, uh, getting back to uh, the dry needling patient, he uh, must be very relieved after... Uh, Oh yeah, after, after that it's, kind of success in that short of a time. Right. Yeah, he's 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 just uh, he's smiling ear to ear, and I am, and I am too because it's mm -hmm. wonderful to be able to again help patients who have had chronic pain uh, for for years, and and and, and uh, you know even things that we were able to offer before and are now able to offer with uh, some of the new things that we're doing. Um, to get uh, those chronic pain patients over over the next step, so it's identifying it's identifying and giving the patient the right diagnosis, which then leads the doctor into um, uh, developing the correct treatment program. Uh, in this case, whether it is helping the patients with, you know, making sure that their feet and ankles are, are, are functioning properly to give the proper support into the knee and hip. Uh, you know, if there's some degenerative changes or osteoarthritis into those joints, uh, trying to help uh, restore the biomechanics because the key to joint longevity, uh, no matter what joint in, in the body it is, is motion. Um, so restoring the motion to help uh, get some... Uh, nutrients back into the joint to to kind of re-lubricate, if you will, uh, those joints <clears throat> to help to maintain the range mm -hmm. of motion. Because again, that's what what's important: keeping that joint moving. When you don't keep that joint moving, it begins to stiffen up, and that's when the degenerative process begins. All right, quick quick question for the doc. All right, on our text, on our shoreline text line, is there a better alternative to knee replacements? Mm. Well, it all depends what yeah, what, what it the, is. What it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if the patient, if there is, if there is, uh, if the 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 joint itself is is bone on bone, you know, I'm sending the patient to the orthopedic mm -hmm. surgeon. I mean, it, it is what it is, and it's yeah. you know, it's past treatment. And, you know, there's past anything you typically can do. One thing, that, you know, I, I do like to say with patients, you know, if you're going into surgery, it's always a good idea to, to get a second opinion right. because I've seen, I've seen a lot of patients who've come to me for a second opinion who said, you know, uh, the doctor told me, you know, it, it, it's bone on bone and the mm -hmm. only option is surgery. And I take a look at the x-rays and I say, you know, it's degenerative, but it's 
it's not bone on bone. There's there's a little bit of help here, and we've been able to to help and save patients from surgery well, before. You know, well, that. if that patient would like to get a hold of you <clears throat> to talk to you, how do they do that? If anybody is having any type of uh, joint or soft tissue problems or like information on uh, any type of things that we do at our clinic that we've talked about or, or like we talked about today, uh, hip and knee pain, hip in knee pain or dry needling all they need to do is call the the clinic uh, for a free consultation in manitowoc or two rivers mm-hmm. at 652-0116 or look us up on the web at manitowochealth.com well it sounds great Thank looking you, sir. forward to seeing you next week on advanced family chiropractic radio program you've been listening to the advanced chiropractic radio show For better health, call Advanced Family Chiropractic today and schedule an appointment.